get on to this. We didn't do a whole bunch of uh, commentary uh, talking bullshit during the uh, video. But I will tell you, we got loaded up. It was me, Tiffany, DJ, and our mother-in-law, Susan. We headed out to uh, Scrape in the Rockies. And man, was it a good show. A great atmosphere. We met up with Frog and, all, and Tommy and uh, Shasta and all those guys. And uh, man, it was a great time. Great, great time. We'll be going again. Um, I'd say about the only thing was, is man, there's a lot of shows going on this weekend uh, during Scrape of the Rockies. And I'm very impressed with the quality that showed up to this show for being the first time coming back. I believe people are saying after 10 years. And with other big shows going on, man, they still had a high quality, very good turnout. The uh, people in uh, the casino were excellent. Around the area were awesome. Um, Durango was only about 28 minutes away and it had everything you could imagine for bringing your family or just you and your buddies, uh, your friends, whatever, stuff to do, nighttime. Uh, the casino had bowling and mini golf and some uh, history museum stuff, I think. Either way, great show, great people, in and out. Um, besides, uh, we hit a hellstorm, and of course, Wolf Creek Pass. I couldn't ask for a better show. I'll even throw some uh, photos at the end of, uh, we had the opportunity to go through a small town called Sublette, Kansas. And I spent a little part of my childhood there. My grandpa and my dad owned a uh, bowling alley and restaurant motel set up. And uh, that's where we decided to stay on our way back. And then uh, it was pretty cool to go back and see, you know, my old stomping grounds, I guess you could say, as a little shit. And uh, there will be a photo of a sign. It was called the Pheasant Inn Restaurant Motel. And I'll tell you a quick little story here. When they put that sign up that day, me and my buddies went out there and thought it'd be an awesome idea to go throw rocks at the brand new neon. Let's just say the least, uh, my ass got handed to me by my old man because I just broke out about $30,000 worth of neon shit. And uh, I definitely had to go back and get a photo with this sign. The ironic part about it, it's all fucked up now anyway, so... Oh well. There might be a video of me going and getting that sign. I'm going to try to get a hold of the new owners and see, since it's in such disrepair, if I could get that sign. And that would be a nice little video uh, me going back and retrieving the sign I tried to destroy 27 years ago. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember, coldheartedtv.com is up live, and there is a pre-order for Bag It and Let's Go. If it catches fire, let it roll. T-shirt right now with featuring DJ's Twin Turbo to Sonoma. That's about ready to pop off. Get on that before it's too late, and uh, enjoy the video. Check out the cars, trucks, and... Uh, Repetitive as hell. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, lick the screen. I don't give a shit. Thank you guys. Stay cold hearted.
scraping the Rockies guys and we got some decent shit showing up out here fucking everything's looking good we're banging stuff out we didn't die no hell damage we're at the show Do we want to walk around? Yeah, just do the. It's, a, it's three bucks. Just throw three bucks. Okay. Yeah. Gas pants. I'm just saying. Man, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but watch. Man, that's some crazy shit. Just... What are them, catfish? Hey, don't be taking all my food. Take the rest of it. Thank okay. you. Oh, they didn't feel that one. God, they're smart catfish. Best, uh, give me your best. What's up? No. Fucking frog. No. It's for the video. 
video. You know, it's not fucking. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt from Cold Hearted. Hey, everybody. Hi, I'm Matt from Cold Hearted. Really? <laughs> <laughs> So we made it back from scraping the Rockies, right? So I'm sitting here at my computer and I am editing the film. And there was a part in our trip that was just a little bit sketchy. Um, so I'm gonna flip you guys around. And uh, a lot of you guys from the area that's uh, been to this part of Colorado will understand, I think. Um, I know one guy in particular, if he watches this, he's gonna understand, fuck this drive. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize how bad it was, because uh, with this being said, we went down a mountain, uh, you know, in Colorado, go figure, right? I wasn't prepared for how steep this damn thing was, and I'm just kinda Googling this pass. So, it's called Wolf Creek Pass, um, it is pretty much in between, I think, I don't know, it was like one o'clock in the morning, we were half-ass asleep, uh, it was on I-160 South Fork area, I don't know, it was in there somewhere. All I know is all of a sudden it said check brakes and here you go. So luckily I had um I had good brakes, I had trailer brakes. Um still sucked, wasn't prepared for it. Uh definitely interesting at one o'clock in the morning going down this pass and then on top of it hearing all the stories everybody was telling us about how I can't believe you went down that pass at night for one whatever I don't know I'm from Oklahoma Missouri did Kansas man I'm not used to this shit so learning experience I will never go down Wolf Creek Pass ever again so apparently we were down I'm assuming this guy right here somewhere Wolf Creek Pass 6.8% at 10,850 uh, let's see some pictures here driving Wolf Creek Pass Summit I do remember the bridges or not bridges but the tunnels I will tell you this right now that picture right there is about bullshit no, I felt like I was going down one hell of a fucking road. Little signs, yeah, I kept seeing these guys. Anyways, I'm sure there's guys on here that are gonna be like, look here, pussy. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, my ass was not prepared for that, especially that late at night. Been driving already all day. Um, God bless. God bless that uh, made it there safe. I will tell you, my ass did not go that same way because I did not feel like my truck could handle that. My old Chevy has got almost 400,000 miles and whew, yeah, that wasn't, that, it's not worth it. 
So, next time, either I'm getting my ass a brand new truck that is capable of doing it, or I'm just going to go right back through Santa Fe and come right back up to the show next year. For anybody going to Scraping the Rockies next year, either get your shit together like I didn't and go for it, or find your ass another route because pff, I'm not the only one that was saying F that pass, but uh, yeah. A little short segment there for you. Going down that damn hill, it will burn your shit up. And I'll be honest with you, sitting here looking at the pictures, pff, man, this seems like a lot of people get killed. You know what? I'm not even going to keep looking at this. Nope. Nope. I'm done.